Hi everyone, this is Abra. Welcome to Abra Nale channel. Today we will be talking about very very interesting topic, something called prediction. So prediction, you all know that we can apply this prediction concept everywhere. Uh, maybe in the you know we wanted to predict the sales, we wanted to predict the scores of a student. We can predict the orders, how much how much order we're gonna have, how much profit we're gonna have, all of these things, how much stock I need to have, all of these things we can use the prediction model. So for the prediction, it is also very imperative that we need to pick the right tool. So today to do that, today I picked up three models. One, I'm gonna explore out through using Excel. Number one, number two is uh, regression one, and number three is uh, winter method. When I say regression, I'm referring to equation y equal to mx plus c. Uh, when I say winter method, I'm referring to time method series, uh, which we will be doing in uh, many times. So these uh, two we will be doing in mini tab. So to do that, let me brief about what data I have. I have a data for four years, as you can see here, 48 count, and uh, the data all about sales and orders. So first I'm gonna determine uh, sales, how much sales I'm gonna have it, and how much orders I'm gonna have it for 21. To do that, so in Excel, this is the formula forecast.linear a50 this is my a50 uh, it need to be there in the in this format month followed by date followed by year and uh, c22 c49 this is my c that means uh, this is what uh, the value which is known values right and from this we can find out and comma let me continue the formula a comma b22 b49 this is my sales uh, one i'm going to predict so whatever you are going to predict, you need to keep this in the last. For example, in this ones, I'm going to predict uh, orders that you please keep it in the last. Okay. So by this is the value it uh, has given. One is uh, 1,407. Uh, this is what the sales uh, order that I'm going to have it by 21, fiscal uh, year 21. And uh, this is the, uh, you know, orders I'm going to have 93. So the same thing we will do it uh, in the regression method. So copy this uh, data and go to Pinitab. Just have a paste it. So last this one I'm not gonna paste it because this is something which we have calculated. I'm just predicting only these actual values. So go to start and you have regression and you have a fitted line plot. So have a go to that so response so you take x y as uh, sales and orders as x so this is going to be linear and you can also give uh, options if you wanted to have this is what 95 percentage confidence sales and orders give okay So this one, if you see this graph, this is the y equal to mx plus c. Uh, in this one, uh, one thing what you need to know is we need to know the value of uh, uh, r square. This is very important. It says like uh, the value is 65.4. That means uh, there, will, uh, there are no much relation with the sales and order. Both are disproportionate. Let me just change it a bit. So let me figure out, uh, uh, we can also do a reverse also as well. Let me, we can find out the orders and from the sales, how we did in Excel. So again, here also there are values. So in this, this is a sales and you can see that the plots are falling apart and only these values are much closer, but all other values are falling apart. That means, uh, you know, prediction will not be so accurate uh, if we go with this, if the R square value is 66.1. Maybe if you would like to give a scale, you can very well give. Yeah, so if you wanted to give a uh, little slice and dice, you can very well do that. So this is something uh, regression method. In the regression method, uh, we use uh, y equal to mx uh, plus c. Uh, 
uh, in this one we need to see a very importantly r square value if the r square value is 66 that means uh, it shows that there is no much uh, relation with the orders uh, sales and orders uh, so we also did uh, vice versa also as well the same data let me do it in same data let us do it in time series in time series go to winters method have, and uh, here the variables are sales and seasonal length you can give two no problem so how much month you're gonna do it so in this one interesting thing you can also predict uh, you know how much month you want let me predict for six months and and i'm going to stamp the values x x i mean not x a month double click on it it will be there okay now this is very interesting so you first you see what you have in black color that is your actual values and uh, this is called fits value and the forecast is uh, the green one this is what forecasted for six month so you can see a six dot for example you can see one thousand five hundred and 84.98 and the next month will be 1333 the next month is 1395 and so on so this is the confidence level so 95.5 percent is the confidence level the values will fall between these two so this gives uh, this winter method is anywhere you have a, a seasonal data winter method is really really good wherever the r square is uh, not i mean uh, r square value is uh, not uh, more than 80 percentage or 90 percentage then you can use a winter method in winter method method can be used when the data is very very seasonal in this one we can do vice versa also as well let me go back to log editor i can also predict the orders also as well So here in this says the uh, order for the upcoming month will be 112 and then the next is 102 and 111. The next is so 101 so and it goes on. So you can also change like if you want only 12 month I mean if you want only 2 month data also you can do. Uh, if you would like to have uh, 12 month data you can do. So all of these uh, things can be done. So very importantly, we, we can we need to see like the confidence level, the values will fall between these two. That means orders will have between these two range. So thank you so much. Please do like and